Hey, what's going on, you guys? Today, uh, my name is Fabio Green. I am a computer repair specialist. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to do something. You know, I've been getting a lot of asking questions about how to make your Google Chrome, well, people using Google Chrome, you know, actually, I've been getting a lot of complaints saying that their web browser is dragging. And I'm showing you today that you might want to check your extension on your web browser for you know, I'm not a fan of Google Chrome, nor do I use Google Chrome, nor do I use Safari or Firefox, but today I'm absolutely going to um, download Google Chrome to show you how to make this thing work. I want to show you exactly how to make this thing work because maybe your extensions are slowing your computer down, you know, and it's not just slowing your computer down, but it's, you know, people think that it's their internet or things like that, which it can be. I'm not saying it's not. But what I'm saying is, like, you have to understand that, you know, Google Chrome, like Google.com has its own platform. And dealing with this platform, meaning that the extension get, could get all tied up and that you can lose exactly what were you installing or and slow down your, slow down your web browser. So it's not just your internet, maybe. So maybe your the extension that you have in your Google Chrome settings are not. Yeah, guys. So I got 37 seconds remaining. I'm waiting for this thing to be finished downloading. Again, you guys, you know, I'm looking for. You know, if you guys want to help me and uh, come join my Facebook, if you guys need any computer repair, uh, I do do online computer tech support. So anything if you need help, just go on to facebook.com backslash Fabio Green Data Hundred. Or I could just leave this link in YouTube. Whatever will be easier for you guys. You know, I'm out here doing it right now. Uh, this is almost done downloading. You see it right here. Two seconds left. One. And it's finished downloading. So let's open that open. Let's get that open for you guys. For those of you who already have it, you know, this is no problem for you. Just follow what I'm going to do. You know, I don't have Google Chrome, so I had to read how to download it. Uh, you know, I'm just going to drag this to my applications folder for now. Right, I just want to open it. That's that. I'm going to pause this while it's done. Okay. I'm already got that going. Okay. So, welcome back, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, hello. Hello. So, I do have Google Chrome now. Okay. So to get this thing going, you guys, this is what you do. So you're going to go to your Chrome folder, and you're going to go to Preferences. And when you get to Preferences, you're going to see at your site panel, you're going to see your history, your extensions, your settings, and help. What you need to click on is your extensions to see what you're using. See right now. I'm only using Google Docs because I just actually just downloaded the program. So I'm just going to go ahead and in here and go get some more extensions. So you guys who already have more extensions already know what I'm talking about. So maybe you have the eBay extension or the Ad Block Pro, uh, you know, Proxy Sharp. Any one of these is fine. So I'm just downloading this for an example so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going to add a couple of these extensions that, you know, these are just for an example, you guys. You don't have to go download these into your computer. Uh, maybe get this uh, eBay extension, too. And maybe this Google Chrome phone. Let me add that. So now I'm going to go back to my extensions folder. And you see right here on my screen that you see that it shows all my extensions right here. So guys, what actually can slow down your web, your web from your web browser from performing right is the type of extension you have because some of them may contain bugs and things like that that need to be fixed. And you know, and Google and I know uh, Firefox lets you know and Safari lets you know. So Google Chrome also will let you know if these need to be removed or not. So what you do to remove them or just throw them in the trash if you don't need it. I'm saying if you don't need it. You know, this will increase your web browsing. This will increase your searches. This will increase you better working on your web browser, not slowing down. This will help you a lot. Other than that, you can clean out your trash bin or your computer. Just clean it out. So this will also help you by just removing it or, you know, taking them and removing them and putting them in the trash. So just do like that and put them all in the trash because I don't need any of them. 
they're not important. Maybe you have more than that that you need to be deleting. You're not sure of deleting them. You can make a video response to this video, and I'll let you know how to get it. Thank you for watching this video. I